Okay, uh, first one I'll do. Hey, do you remember when those folks came on Radio Shack? Oh, we had the chairman and we had the, the CEO. Oh, yeah. Yep. What so, happened with that? Well, what happened with that? Um, our stuff is now showing up in Radio Shacks around the country. We have Whoa. the Adafruit Raspberry Pi Starter Kit, Motor Shield, NeoPixel Stick, Proto Shield, and more. It all started here on the uh, Ask an Engineer show. And uh, thank do you, you so much, everyone at Radio Shack. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Um, and uh, here's some of the packaging. Um, that we got going on. So starting with like a yeah. NeoPixel stick. There's a sticker stick. on the inside, by yeah, the way. Yeah, there's a sticker, yeah. and it's also got information on it. So we have to include... Um, all sorts of things. All sorts of information, like, you know, URL and, like, FCC stuff. So um, we also include... It's a sticker, so it's like a two-for-one. Yeah. Two-for. Okay, so those are local radio shacks. If you go to your radio shack, ask them to um, stock this stuff. Just say, I uh, want to stock... Please talk data for stuff. That'll help us too. We got the Proto Shield kit and yep. the Motor Shield kit. So yeah. I like we we spent a really long time designing these kits to be, um, you know, the, not the kits to the packaging so you could see what it is you're buying, but it's clearly indicated yeah. what it's for. And then the back has information, URLs, part numbers, all that good stuff. So yep, sweet. So it's a big deal, and we're happy to um, help Radio Shack get back on their feet. This is a whole new Radio Shack crew, a whole new company, whole new everything. So um, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right. Next up, it's cable. This is an updated product. Um, as like I said, you know, we've been doing a lot of updates lately. When you have like over 3,000 items in the store, you know, even if 1% get updated every month, that's 30 <laughs> items a month. Uh, we don't even update that many, but we do, we do update things when necessary. For a long time, we've carried this cable with the PL2303 chipset. And that chipset is inexpensive, but um, there's better ones. So we've updated this cable to its for all intents and purposes, the same, but now uses a Scilab CP2102 chipset. And we like that chipset because it can go a lot faster. So you can do two megabits. So there's some, sometimes you want to connect to a device and it's very fast. Um, this chipset can do it. Also, this chipset can do unusual baud rates. So if you need to have a non-standard baud rate, like MIDI baud rate or 77 kilobaud or whatever, this chip you can do any divider, um, whereas the PL2303 only does kind of the standard ones. Doesn't always affect people, but we decided, you know what, we'll spend a little bit more. We didn't change the price for you. We're, we're just we're just spending a little bit more on these cables to get you a better quality cable. That's what we do here. Yep. Always improving. Okay. Got these boxes. This is, speaking of John Park, he's the one who requested this, and I was like, you're right. This is a lovely little pack, and we'll carry more sizes if necessary. Hold on, I gotta do this where I don't destroy everything. It is a set of nylon screws, standoffs, hex nuts, lots of hex nuts, uh, different, two different size screws, sort of shorty screw, longer, even longer. I don't remember the exact measurements for all these. It's like four, six, eight, and 12 millimeters. We got male, female, um, female, female, hex nuts, all sorts of um, really nice attachments. And what's cool about these is these are sort of the, they're, they're for 2.5 millimeter holes, which is also 0.1 inch. So they work great for um, anything with a Raspberry Pi, which is the standard size hole there. And also if you have, um, you know, feathers uh, our, or our breakout boards, we almost always, except when it's a very small breakout, we um, tend to use 2.5 millimeters. So you can see it fits right over, it doesn't get in the way. And what's nice is that because it's nylon, it's um, non-conductive, so you know you can use it near an antenna if you want, or you can use it, you know, near um, uh, components where you might be concerned, like oh, I don't want to have any uh, conduction going on. So these are nice black nylon; they're Adafruit black, and you know, if you want to like mount this feather or something, this gives you a nice strong attachment point. So almost all of our breakouts and every one of our feathers uses the size. Um, a lot of the Raspberry Pi stuff uses the size. It's a, it's kind of a good standard yeah, size. Yeah, using the store right now. Uh, and they're in the store, and they're and they're pretty inexpensive. You get a whole bunch. You get like 380 parts for like almost 15 bucks or so. Okay. And it even comes in this nice case. Really handy. I pick one up. You will use it. Okay. This is cool. Um, we're uh, we like security here, and so um, these Fido two factor things are kind of neat. And uh, we started to do some research. We're like, well, heck, we could just sell these in our store. So mm -hmm. if you're someone who um, is of security mindedness. 
Um, in or maybe you're not. Or maybe you're not, and maybe this is a thing. Be. Yeah, um, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. Yeah. Um, so if you kind of watch the current political landscape, there's a lot of email hacking and all sorts of things. One of the things that's uh, very true is if you have two-factor authentication on your email mm -hmm. account, which is also called just Gmail now, um, it would be helpful. So there's a few things you can do. You can do Google Authenticator. Yeah. I suggest Authy because then you can sync to other devices. Which uses your mobile phone and app. And other things, yeah, desktop yeah, too. Um, and then um, you can use SMS, but you know, security researchers say that's not the best thing. It's not because you can fake SMSs. Yeah. And also like it sometimes takes like minutes to get it. Yeah. It can be, it can, phone it can networks make you... can go down and phone networks will go down. And it gets, gets you frustrated and, and then you turn it off. Yeah, you lose your phone, change your phone number, all sorts of things. Yeah. And then the last one is um, these little hardware well, they used to have, remember, the, the cards where it would generate yeah. a thing, but then you'd have like 20 of these and the battery would die. So, so this is a better version. So this is neat, and uh, we use these here at Adafruit. Um, a lot of times when we use something internally, we'll just stock it. That way we always have them here. Mm -hmm. So anyways, it's a neat little USB thing. You pop it into Chrome. Um, you set up the uh, two-step on Google Gmail, Apps. Gmail, Dropbox, Dropbox yeah. GitHub yeah. are the three big ones that support yeah. it. It's natively supported in, in Chrome and Firefox. You have to install a plugin, but that's yeah. not a big deal. There's a lot of other sites that use it. I just those are the three yeah. big ones. And then whenever you log in, after you type in your password, you just press the button. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. No pulling out your phone. And no SMS. Nothing. You could also have this as a, a tertiary form of two-factor mm -hmm. and just toss it in like a little fireproof safe at home. Or something. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So you can always use either SMS or this, but this is way faster. So yeah. I'm, I'm it's actually only 10 looking bucks. forward to setting it up online yeah. because I, that way I don't have to pull out this app every time. It's only 10 bucks and just like ask yourself this thing. If you've ever had like your email hacked or something happen, will you pay $10 for it not to happen? Well, yes, of course. And you can use one, the nice thing about these compared to the, um, the old card style which had the automatic number generators is you use one for all of your accounts. Yeah. Because there's no secret held inside of it. It's just the physical fact that it exists. Is, you know, and it has a unique identifier. Yeah. So you can tie it to as many accounts as you want. So you just have this one thing Plug into the front of your computer and then you can log into okay. all of your accounts. Next up. Handy. Servo. Time for Raspberry Pi stuff. Uh, this Pi is a pan tilt hat. It's a kind of a platform. It's, it's cute because the pan tilts mount on yeah. top of it. It actually uses the pan tilts that we've stocked in the store for quite a while. So if you have one of our pan tilt kits or if you just want to get it all in one, you can do that. Um, and then it connects to a Raspberry Pi and there's a little I2C adapter and some code that lets you pan and tilt around as you can see and there's also a little NeoPixel uh, connection as well that you can use to light up um, one of our NeoPixel sticks for kind of a, a diffused lighting for your camera photos. So really handy, you put it on top of your Raspberry Pi and then you can uh, move it around yeah. to see different things. So a little, a little kit, um, nice, no soldering required, just plug and play. Okay, next up. Oh, we already done this. We already did that. Oh, this is the uh, outside of the, uh, yeah. the key. Oh, All right. Like, well, you know what? If we we want to remind outside, you again. It's, it's like a, a whole idea. new product when you put a case on it. Okay. Next up. Uh, okay. This is also an update. This is the uh, terminal block feather wing, which we made, you know, almost a year ago. But now it comes fully assembled. So we before we had it as a kit, and that was fine. People would put it together, and we never heard any complaints. But uh, you know, if it's a terminal block adapter, it's probably for people who don't want to solder. You want to plug and then have wires connect to it. So it now comes fully assembled. Um, you plug any feather into it, works with all of our feathers, or even our feather wings if you if you so wish. There's a little prototyping area. And uh, yeah, it just comes soldered up, same price. Okay, next up. See another Raspberry Pi accessory. Um, we have the automation hat. This is the automation fat. It's a little mini hat. Um, it's for your Pi Zero, but you can use it with a Raspberry Pi uh, B Plus or 2 or 3, anything with the 2x20 connector. It gives you a relay, it gives you some uh, buffered outputs, gives you an analog digital converter. Um, good stuff. Uh, good for home automation or, or control of motors or, or control of uh, small appliances, very small appliances. I wouldn't use it for something big. It's only about 2 amps for that relay, mm -hmm. looks like. Next up, a whole bunch of parts, but... It turns into this. <laughs> this is, um, well, there's, it's two for one. There's actually two yeah. products. One is this, and this is uh, the robot platform. So we have the robot platform, and we have Adabox 2, and they're very similar. So Adabox yeah. 2 is what you see here. You get the robot plus uh, a blue fruit feather plus a battery pack plus battery plus motor controller plus and, all the fixings. And that's just the robot chest. And then right? this is just the robot chest. So you get okay. to pick. Do you want to build a full robot and you have everything, uh, everything, everything? That's just a chassis. 
Yeah. I see. Yeah, it's kind of like it's it's two for one. Uh, the photos they, we use the photos for the same the same gotcha. photos. Okay. So if you want to get the pack where you get everything, get Ada Box Two. Yeah. And if you want to just build a robot yourself uh -huh. and you have some parts, get just the chassis. Okay, so then I should go to Adabox 2 and say it's now for sale in the store. Yeah. Um, you can get it as a subscription, but if you missed out, no problem. We have it in the store. Here's a little uh, trailer about Adabox 2. had okay. some um, some other footage this is just uh, Ada box 2 uh, after this is one of the side it. projects you, yeah. add, you can add a distance sensor and now you can have it be an obst uh, obstacle yeah. avoidance and this is based on our make robot friend not robot enemy we didn't want to do like battle bots or war bots or fighty bots we want to do things that um, maybe art bots um, so we have a tutorial of course um, shows you how to make everything and we did a live unboxing on Christmas Day here it is in 19 seconds so uh, we put the whole thing together live, uh, made sure it worked, tested it out. We did Bluetooth right there. Cat was involved. Um, I ran into the wall. Ran into the wall. <laughs> and uh, that's... But the cool thing is you can fix it. Yeah. So that's Adabox 2. Yeah. So what you get, the thing is, just, um, just so people know, when you buy the Adabox 2 separately, it's going to be a more expensive and you're not going to get as many freebies. You don't get free shipping, you don't get a free light poly battery, and you don't get um, the special edition pin. So if you're like, wow, I wish I could have gotten this awesome kit for like 60 bucks with free shipping, you should subscribe to Adabox and you'll get Adabox yeah. 3, which is the next one that's uh, coming out. So yeah. sign up for that now because we do sell out of subscriptions. We limit them so that we can make sure that we get a good experience for everybody. Um, but if you missed out, you can always yep. pay a little bit more. We're going to keep doing this. May as well just subscribe and you'll get the one starting now. That's, yeah. So you should do that. And then you can always pick up the Adabox Zero. Yeah, and yeah. Adabox Don't worry about it. And if you want to build your own custom robot, again, you can just get the chassis. Yeah. Custom. Ada okay. for Black. All right. Sweet. And with that, Lady Ada is new product. New products are over.